Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome to my mini game series. I'm not sure what number is this is. I think it's 12 maybe, but today we have the Great Ore Project and this is a pretty easy mini game. I'm doing this in a free to play world because the members world there pretty much deserted. Nobody plays it in there and in free to play it's somewhat decent money, I guess. If you have yeah, uh, requirements for this is 50 rune crafting, so if you don't have that, there's no way you can play this. Um yeah, that's just it. Uh to get here, you can either uh to get here, get here just Teleport to Lumber, it's just walk to Drain Iron South to Wizard Tower. You can use Fairy Rings, DIS is the Fairy Ring code. Use a Glory to teleport to Drain Iron, walk south, easy ways to get here, it's just in Wizard's Tower. Let's find a way to get there, it's pretty simple. Alright, so to join a game, you have to either uh, go to the yellow guy, his name is Wizard Reef. Beef, yeah, you can, there's two teams, green and yellow. You can either join him or talk to the green person, wherever she is, right there right there in the wheelchair wizard akantha uh... you can talk to either one of them to join their team if both of them say full or, some, full or something or you just want to randomly join the game just talk to the, any wizard and right click and join game and they'll put you on the random team whichever has the lowest players so i'll get back when i'm in the game right so once the game starts there'll be a portal you come in here and yeah, you just go in there now in this mini game you have to get most orbs collected since i'm green i have to collect the green orbs and just attract with your attractors one you're bearing it right now uh, you can repel the yellow ones to repel them so they don't get the points and the point is just to attract as much orbs as you can into the center of the altar and the more you get the more points over here there's an activity bar if you don't do stuff you'll get kicked out so careful of that I really hate those activity bars it's really dumb now I put the things at the bottom right here in the chat box there are actually six altars you do in free to play in members there are two more uh, I think it's nature and uh, cosmic, not cosmic, nature and chaos, that's what it is. Uh, see, he put up a barrier, that's another thing. I'm going to try to show you repel now, I've showed you some attracting. So repel, just put it on and repel the yellow orbs, or what the opposite one you're on. If you see people are bringing those orbs in, just use your uh, barrier one, make a barrier, they won't get through. That one got through because it was already coming in. Um... Yeah, it's not too much of a big mini game. Now, in free to play, there are six altars. You do air, mind, water, earth, fire, and body in that order. And once you remember, you do that, you get chaos first and nature last. So it's pretty useful if you save your runes until you get to nature, so you can get some more money or bring some rune pouches. If you remember, that get you some get some money too. Uh, it looks like a pretty good game. People are doing work. Of course, I'm not because I'm dumb trying to make some videos over here people okay right that failed it's a pretty good mini game and if you're a non-member I mean there's not many methods to make money this is one of them oh shoot we're losing that sucks uh, at the end of each game if you want or not you still get uh, some pure s or rune s it, the game gives you it so don't worry about bringing your own and once you uh, at the end of the game you get Pure S or the Rune S, depending on if you're a member or not on a non-member world. Now, since we lost, we got some S, but they obviously got much, much more. We got a lot, but it's still not enough. And once the game ends, just enter the portal, and you'll be taken to the next one. This is the Mind one. This is, I hate this one really. It really sucks. The Mind one is pretty dumb I really hate it and oh one more thing if people put up barriers you don't like them just right click and destroy you can do that too it's not too much and this thing starts flashing we're losing again nothing too big right here uh, yeah once uh, you can usually find out who wins the game after the start I guess if the first team wins they usually win the whole game it's basically like that so yeah and if you quit because you're losing or something you will get a limit on like you'll have like a 5 minute or 10 minute thing before you can come back in the game like a penalty but if you get disconnected or something I think there's like a 1 minute ooh it's a tie that's cool uh, if you get disconnected you will have like a 1 minute thing I guess because I'm pretty sure they know that you disconnected or something and it just happens like that water one yeah the mini games mini map thing is being glitched I really hate that so I'm just gonna save these S until I get to a better one oops I'm in the non-member world there are no better ones okay right obviously craft them okay ooh what the heck was that oh snap tie again I am pro at this game so we're grafting XP not too good 
Oh, uh, one more thing I'll show you. It's a little trick. Right, so this is a little trick. You don't have to keep switching your weapons. Just right click and change wand and you can repel it instantly. It's very easy to do that. Now, this is the earth one. It's yeah, Every altar is the same. Well, same as in it doesn't change at different type of games. And there are little like rocks everywhere over there. That's It gets really confusing when you're trying to really hate this barrier too. Like there will be orbs stuck in the corner, you have to get them out. Like this dude over here, he's smart, he put one right there. But there's no orbs over there, so what an idiot. Yeah, so this is the earth one. Heck yeah, we won. Whoop, whoop. Woot, woot, what? No? I hate this one. What's the next one? Get me out of here. Uh, yeah. Where is it? These free-to-play people know where the portal appears. Fire one, this is pretty intense too. Uh, this is the fire altar if you don't know that yet and yeah if you leave through the portal wherever that is you won't come outside over there i think you come to you come to the end of the mini game where you started from i'm pretty sure that happens not to the actual place where it's supposed to lead to yeah shoot we were almost winning i swear we almost won that one i hate free to play because the running energy thing doesn't load fast enough they changed that of like a year or something ago yeah, so last one coming to in free to play is body. Now this is the last one in here. If you were to be member again, you would go to chaos then nature where you would craft your little nature runes and make money. But we don't have that over here. So yeah. The body altar is one of my favorite. It looks pretty cool. It's like nice and clean, nothing too like not too many obstacles and everything. It's one of my favorites. I think air is pretty good too. Mm, yeah. Yeah, get on my level. 24, I mean 22, pathetic. So at the end you're gonna get, oh shoot the message went away. Yeah anyways you get some tokens if you win or not I guess. Yeah I'm pretty sure you get them even though you don't win. So I'll come down here, oh one more thing if you're in the member server you can talk to some wizard right over there. Uh, wherever he is, he'll give you, uh, he'll sell you the large and extra large pouches I think these are. But yeah you can buy some pouches from him. Uh, yeah, well, now the rewards. You get some tokens, Ruin Crafting Guild tokens. This is actually where you buy the tablets to actually teleport to the altar, like, immediately. I can buy the air one, get there immediately, and everything. Ruin Crafting one, that's pretty helpful here. You get a talisman staff, you can attach a talisman on top of it to make it like a tiara, so you can enter it while wearing it. Uh, you get Pure S or Noted S. If you're a free-to-play server, you can only get Normal S, so wait until you get membership, then you can buy Pure S, which are worth more. Now you get runecrafting, holy crap that's new, hold on I'll look up what that does. Okay so basically if you have the whole set you get, when you're runecrafting you get 2.5% extra XP and you can get a maximum of 700 XP per action so you can't get more than that. Uh, these are just normal runecrafting things, these don't give you extra XP, it's just like magic gear I used to use as a free to play person. Now this is the main thing, if you're a non-member you can buy some water talismans or something whichever with their worth the most and you can actually sell those for quite a bit of money I'll just buy them right now just and a random number okay you can only buy 50 at a time right so I will buy 50 dang it how many can I buy they're herp derp okay one wow hold on right so I got however many those are like uh, yeah 35k it's not too bad for this game in free to play this is actually pretty good money because they're really not decent methods to make money and if you're losing a lot and everything there are still people that do 50 50 games by that I mean there are people that win three games and lose three games on purpose so everybody gets points or tokens at the end just everybody gets tokens similar amount so you can do that if you don't like to keep losing if you're not good and the higher your runecrafting is the better you'll attract and repel so that's not the big thing so yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with Vine Sweeper, I think it is. It's one of my favorite mini games. I'll explain that in quite a bit detail. I like that. It's pretty good. Yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you later.